Hey guys, this is Neon Nezi back again with another Destiny 6 video. Today we are going to be looking at four units that are broken and talking about how we might be able to possibly fix Destro. So first of all, yes, technically since I've been inactive for a week, I should be making my videos on the most useful four stars and the most useful five stars. However, I don't have time today because there are quite a few and this video is going to be super short. Um, is there anything else I want to say before I get started? Not really. Um, I just want to say that there are multiple ways to fix these units, okay? These are just the ways that I thought of. Same with the substat change rerolls. The, the ways that I fixed to, or the ways that I suggested to fix uh, how the substat rerolls were affecting the game were just in my opinion. There are multiple ways of tackling every single problem. Hopefully the developers will take these um, suggestions. Hopefully the community won't hate me for these suggestions. It's just that these units are way too OP and they need to be dealt with. So first of all, we have Paper Adonis. From the point at which I started playing the game, which was in late January to now May, it's almost like over three months, Paper Adonis has maintained his status as one of the best must-have units in the game. The reason is because of this one skill, his first skill, Solid Stance, at max level, it has 35 second cooldown, it'll make you invincible for eight seconds, and it will also deal damage when the shield becomes undone of 800% equivalent to his defense. So, let me just say that he is so, like, this unit right here is so good. People use him everywhere. If you have him, he's definitely a part of your auto team. And if you have him, he's definitely a part of your arena team, of your destro team, of maybe even your giants team if you don't don't have a speed team already. Um, it says invincible. And correct me if I'm wrong, but in my experience, that invincible or that invulnerability shield will make you take zero damage and also makes you immune to debuffs, which I think is just insane. I think I like the fact that you take no damage. However, I would change this. So now we're gonna be talking about nerfs that Adonis should have, okay? And this is where the haters are gonna hate, but I'm talking about the well-being of the game, okay? I think that you should take zero damage like we already do. However, targets or your team should still be vulnerable to debuffs. Meaning that even if you have the shield and you have a blinding on top of you or you or they apply a blinding, that blinding goes through their status activation and your resistance check. And if it lands, it lands. And once it lands, you'll be missing how much ever you're supposed to be missing. All right. If you get shocked, there's an interruption. If you get charged, you get tossed around, you, you can get launched, everything like that. But just take zero damage. Then... I think for arena sake, the counters should become more, uh, I don't know what to say, they should be more popularized or they should become more popular. Uh, two things that can make this, make it more balanced in arena is one, the buff ban debuff. Very few units have it and it's not very popular. The more efficient way to deal with shields, I think, is to make 100% shield strips, truly 100%, okay? For example, Scissor Shaolin. One of her abilities, it says 100% chance to remove a shield. That needs to happen. That 100% should not have to go through a resistance or status resistance check. It should just happen, just strip the shield. I think that's all that needs to be done. And of course, with all four, four of these units, I think that the cooldown should be limited. I hope not. I hope I'm not spending too much time here on this one unit. The cooldown should be limited at 60 at 30 percent. Right now, it's at 60 percent. I think over 50 percent is just way too much. And even if it was 50 percent, it would just still be broken. I think 30 percent is manageable in the sense that um, free-to-play players can achieve it fairly easily, and pay-to-win people that have 60 percent can just rearrange their orbs and crests. So that now, if they make a 30%, I can just give half of my orbs and crests to 
let's say my uh, Paper Sierra or my Paper Soho, giving both Adonis and Paper Sierra 30% cooldown while I can work on other stats. Okay, uh, let's go on to the second unit, which is Scissor Elki. She is absolutely insane. Right now, she doesn't have a lot of HP, all right? If you guys think 11,972 is a lot of HP, it truly, truly, truly is not. Just showing you guys my stats right there. In all honesty, with this much HP, now I could show you guys a run here, but just trust me when I say this. Her second skill heals for way too much, okay? First of all, just let's just read through this, okay? 35 seconds cooldown, it's max skilled. HP recovery up to 10% of team HP and 12% of Cash's max HP six times. This is six times after after the big heals, which happened five times at max level. Damage equal to 83% of Cash's max HP. Then you have immediate HP recovery of 35% of HP when inside attack range. This is just absolutely insane because when I counted these heals, I counted it giving me five 9,600 heals and nine 3,300 heals. While I am inside, all right, you know what, what the heck, I can just show you guys what I mean by this and you guys can rewind this multiple times and watch it. But let me just get into a run right here. It's just insane for how much she can heal. All right, the healing is just too much. I think how she cleanses things are pretty darn awesome because no one else cleanses like she does, all right? They either have like cleansing of both or all debuffs or two debuffs. She cleanses per tick. That's a very unique mechanism and I would like to stay in the game. So maybe keep the cleansing up to, um, maybe keep the cleansing up to three or four debuffs. It's not really that broken. I think the most broken part about her is her HP healing. Yes, her first skill has a has a chance to charge you multiple times, but at the same time, when it, what, what was I gonna say? But at the same time, if the if the Elki has a ton of status activation, then it makes sense. Okay, so now let's count these heals. Okay, note that. Note that when the 9600 9, heals happen, the 330 heals are happening behind the scene. Okay? Or right behind the 9600 9, heals. Alright, so if you guys count that, that was... Um, Alright, it might not be 9 times 3300. It might only be 6 times 3300. But the 5 times... I'm just going to leave... The five times 9,600 is just insane, all right? Even if it's just 9,000, that's 45,000 worth of a heal. That's almost my entire HP. So which is why I am saying that for Elki, how I think Elki should be um, should be balanced out is to reduce her healing. By that, I mean maybe make that 35% caster max HP, which I'm pretty sure is the... 96,000 heal or the 9,600 heal happening. Make that only one happen once. Make that only happen once because that can save you in times of if you're like almost dead. With a 3,300, which happens right off the bat with the 9,600, that is over 12,000 heal. And then with the 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, five more times, that's 15,000. Combined, that is a 27,000 heal, which I think is perfect for a natural flash unit given the fact that it does immense damage within that area of effect, as well as cleansing almost three or four debuffs. I think it's three debuffs. So Elki, I think that is what should change. I kind of like her status activation with the first skill charging, uh, makes her a bit more offensive. And honestly, I like it when units are offensive. Rock Jun, people are gonna hate me for this right here. Rock Jun was nerfed, but I don't think it was a nerf. It was more of a fix that his skills would only apply cooldown to one particular 
a skill per unit rather than having the cooldown effect affect both skills on the unit. So in terms of that, I think it's okay. Um, I was more concerned, concerned about his first skill, given the fact that it does 800, it does 80% defense ignore. Honestly, what I would like to see is for Rock Jun to sacrifice more of his HP. Maybe deal a little bit less less damage, but I would really like to see kind of kind of like what like uh, Mo Long does in Summoner's War. You know, 70% of the enemy's HP for 70% of my HP. Kind of like that. I would like him to deal like. 14 or 22 or 30 percent of his own team's total hp and then apply that damage because in arena this hurts so bad and or what they could even do is when he does this it applies some sort of debuff to the team because this is a lot of damage guys like no matter what you guys say you guys cannot de deny the fact that this is a massive source of damage it one shots almost everything in the game all right, if you guys don't have Rock Jun, speed teams are so hard to do in Giants because you can't one-shot things anymore. So again, Rock Jun, I'd say he's pretty okay for now. It's just a balance thing. I just, It just adds more of an adrenaline rush when you're in Arena and you have your Rock Jun skill activated or it's available. And then you're just like, I, I can use it and I can kill him. But if he nukes and I use this and he, do he doesn't die, but his nuke crits me and I take away 30% of my own HP, it could kill me as well. Now, of course, this damage will not apply to you if you have shields or invulnerability or it, it should still go past defense and damage reduction buffs though. So again, John, not that big of a deal. Uh, just in arena, the damage output, I think is just a bit too strong. Then we have, of course, Carlota. Now I'm saving her for last because I don't really know how to deal with her. These are my stats on her. In all honesty, I think Carlota should not even be in the game. All right, there, I said it. I don't think she should even be in the game. She impacts the game so much. And of course, any changes made to her would have to be um, trickled down or would have to have an effect on her counterpart or her budget uh, version, which is, of course, Chrono. And CM Chrono is probably going to hate me for saying this. Um... She is absolutely awesome for her first skill. Accelerates all allies cooldowns by 260% for 13 seconds at max skill. So how I think this could be balanced out is kind of have it at random in the sense that she will apply this to all units, but only to one skill per unit. Basically like what Rock Jun has right now. I mean, I would like to see this happen first and then if she still proves to be absolutely insane, then maybe have some more nerfs to her. Personally, guys, I hate nerfs. All right? I would rather have uh, buffs, but I think it is a lot easier to nerf these four units than to buff the other 50. Of course, another nerf for her could be reduction from the 260% maybe to like 180% or something. And obviously... The cooldown, skill cooldown reduction has to, has to, has to be reduced. I'm sorry, 60% is just way, way too much, okay? So now let's go ahead into Arena just to prove what I am saying to you guys. Or just, because this is a, this is a Cancer team right here, okay? Cancer team right here, they don't, all of my units don't even have 60% cooldown. They have, Adonis has 61, John has like 40 something and then Carlota has 40 something just watch okay with this comp I can crowd control as much as I want with my Adonis's second ability I can nuke okay I can nuke as much as I want with my John's first ability and I never get touched due to my Adonis's first ability so let's go I'd right, watch this watch this watch this okay stun that stun failed we got uh we got stripped but that doesn't really matter here's a stun i'm not using my john's first skill on purpose here guys there's a stun again is this a crowd control team like is is that what this team was about here's another stun 
Like, how many times was I able to use my Adonis' um, second ability? This is just broken AF, guys. And even with Elki, her first skill, again, if your opponent has a lot of status activation and not a lot of people run resistance, right? So it makes sense that people get frustrated with the charging. But then again, the charging, in a sense, can be dealt with. This try here, though, this toxic comp right here, if the changes that I have... Um, that I have suggested are implemented or something is done about these units, we can see so much more of a variety of units being used in Arena, guys. Alright, one more time. This time I'm not going to use the I'm not going to use the uh the stun from Adonis. I'm gonna use the nuke, okay? This is like everything. This is the best comp in the game right now. It has shields for sustain. Stuns for CC and damage for nuking. That's one hit. Okay, and boom. Within 13 seconds, I was able to use the skill that deals the most damage, that has the most damage output in the game twice in 13 seconds guys and that was also because if you guys go back and watch i used my jun's second ability three times before i could use that shield again or i could use that move again jun's second ability has a chance to reduce cooldown on his first skill by 60 percent and i used it three times so rng was against me but if i had managed to get a 60 percent on my first try on a second skill i could have nuked this twice within probably like seven or six seconds this comp is just way too difficult to counter, and unless shield strips become 100% effective, you can't strip the shields either, because even if you have, even if your shield strips are coming up just as fast as the opponent's shields are, if you don't strip them for sure, you are basically screwed. So again, I hope you guys don't hate me for bringing out these, um, this is, these nerfs, guys, I'm sorry, Someone had to talk about them, and I might as well take the bullet for it if people hate it, but the developers, you guys have to address us. Some of these units are just absolutely freaking insane. Second, I've already done my Death Road runs for today, so I'm sorry about that, but let's get into a run right here. I was talking to Antonella. Um, he is currently ranked 1. Okay, he's currently ranked 1. This guy, uh, level 2, with 68 billion damage. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but Antonella, guys, I can vouch for him. He's legitimate. I did a video once where I linked his video where he showed us how he got 330 million damage. Then, of course, he has summoned Carlota. He didn't have Carlota before. And then, of course, he also managed to get Rock Caesar, which is going to amplify his damage output. So, and he's using... Um, Scissor Shaolin, which increases the damage that the opponent takes. So yes, I fully vouch for Antonella's 711 million uh, damage. This is legitimate, no doubt. This is fair. He's done it like no hacks are being applied here, guys. However, I was talking to him and I asked him, like, what do you think about... Um, about reducing or removing freeze framing? Because... If you guys go in arena, you guys can't slow down time like you guys uh, like you guys could do in other aspects. Look over here. Damage goal is a hundred billion. Okay, uh, no, sorry, it's it's ten billion. It's ten billion. Antonella provided eight billion. Give him like a few more days. He will do ten billion on his own. Within the first few days, the top three or the top four people have already hit the ten billion mark. So what are, like, the rest of us, like, the 99.9% .9 of us that aren't in the top four, we're not contributing anything. And I was talking to Antonella, and he told me that he's for it, for redu for removing freeze framing, basically equalizing the playing field for everybody. And I think, for, for one, like, I'm not trying to portrait him as a hero, right? I mean, props to him. He's an OG player of the game. He definitely knows how the game works. And thank you so much for sharing us how to do it. But then again, for people that don't have 30 minutes a day or 30 minutes per run, basically about an hour and a half for all three runs, they can't do this. Like for those of you guys that don't know what free streaming is, here's what it is. 
right here, look at the timer, okay? It's four minutes and 57 seconds. I'll press this. Within about, I did that kind of whack, but within two seconds, I activated three skills basically. And now the moment I can do this, so within, within three seconds, I activated all three of my skills or all six skills, basically. Basically, that's what happened. So that's what freeze framing is. And it's how people do so much damage. If freeze framing was removed, then people, trust me, then people could only probably do about 50 million damage, which would level the playing field out for everybody, all right? Everybody would be doing decent damage and everybody would be contributing and Destro would actually be pretty darn fun then to see people, some, some people do insane damage and some people will just be stuck at like 2 million damage. So anyway, this video is as long as it, sh as it has to be. I have somewhere to be right now. So again, no one hates nerf guys and no one likes talking about it. But um, again, I just want to thank the community that do support uh, what I am saying. Thank you so much for understanding. And again, uh, Antonella, thank you for backing me up with uh or you know just saying that freeze framing is kind of broken and it should be removed to give everybody a better playing field or leveling out the playing field for everybody um that being said if you guys have any questions anything at all anywhere in the game you guys are having trouble farming hell nightmare tell me your team list your team comps or list list your team what am I saying? List your team. List your units. I will help you guys figure out a team for you. If you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have any um, ideas or any requests for future videos, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope the developers take what I have suggested to heart. Um, if you guys like my content, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Helps keep me motivated. And until the next time, guys, Neon out.